Right, I'm back on the river again. Uh, I'm hoping for a sea trout. I've got a couple of little spider patterns, uh, both with a small bead, tungsten bead on, just to keep them below the surface, because the current is pretty strong. I'm, I'm really hoping for a sea trout, at least uh, that you see a sea trout jumping and falling off, because uh, this is this is ideal conditions for daytime sea trout fishing. It's running off from uh, four foot plus of flood water, so uh, it's probably a shade brighter than I would have liked. But anyway, uh, let's see what happens. I'm using my uh, nine foot eight Shimano rod with a three weight double tapered fly line. And I'm hoping that as the day wears on and the uh, conditions warm up a bit, there'll be a few nice fish rising and then I'll ch change over to uh, dry fly with a two-weight double taper. I used to, in years gone by, get uh, quite a lot of sea trout during the day on the little, the border esque in the evening, sometimes fishing down to about size 16. <coughs> Fly. You know, I would lose a, a fair number of fish, but at least I had some sport. On the uh, little, it was always, for me, it was always if it's best when it the water just reached the spinning mark and the uh, some of the sand uh, suspended sand had left the uh, had left the uh, river we're coming close to uh, where I had a sea trout take a day or two back Right, here's some bit on, pulling quite nicely. Oh, off. God, isn't that typical? It's good fish anyway. sign that a fish is nicely hooked when it doesn't come to the surface.
Well, I'm still on the quest for a sea trout, and uh, I know this this is a, a a particular area where the sea trout lie. Um, it's it's a lot brighter than I would like, but I'm I was going to leave it, but I'm fishing it now because I know that on a a fairly good water like it is today, we're going to get probably get one or two visitors coming down and chucking their repalers and things all over the place which uh, will spoil it a bit for the fly fishing so it's a case of having a go now and hoping for the best or not bothering I've got a nice fish on here. Unfortunately, it's one of those fish that like to splash about on the top rather than run anywhere. Well, as you can see, I've got a lovely strong uh, sea trout on, which is uh, which is a delight after uh, losing so many fish. I've been wanting to do this video for about sea trout fishing for ages one of a few I've got planned in my head but um, I didn't want to actually just show me whipping the water and the type of flies and the tackle without actually producing a fish because there seems to be quite a number of these uh, well videos of that type on YouTube and I, I think when you're demonstrating a technique, you, you need to prove that it actually works. Sometimes, some of the books I've read in the past on sea trout fishing, I, I wonder what kind of hallucinating in drugs are they on, but, uh, because it certainly doesn't bear any account to my night's fishing. It also shows you how effective light fly lines soft rods are for fishing but don't get me wrong I don't use um, um, silly over light nylon just asking to be broken all the time uh, I was fishing with seven pound uh, nylon uh, this particular day and you have to do a balance between uh, the strength of line and what stops the flies from working or puts the fish off. So please subscribe to my videos and thanks again for watching.
got a nice fish anyway. Put up a good fight. Isn't it amazing how say about getting on for four pounds. Go on. There he goes. Right. That was a bit of fun. Just a small brown trout after the uh, excitement of that other fish. <laughs> 